extremely windy over here today. This is the gap that I'm filling. I am already sweaty, but today's the last day before we get some rain, so I'm trying to get some stuff done over here. I'm about to lay down some stick-on laminate flooring, so I'm going to get started. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So once I get the floors and the walls up, I think it's going to look a lot nicer in here instead of this, this plywood and insulation showing. So this is what we're working with. It looks pretty close to real wood, I guess. I mean, I think vinyl flooring has come a long way. So I like it. It looks pretty cool. All I gotta do is peel this off and uh, stick it to the floor. So I'm hoping it's that easy. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> So I'm almost halfway, making progress. I think it's looking really good. So after the well was dug, I obviously had to get water from the well to the workshop. So they had to dig um, a pretty deep trench all the way down there at the well to the workshop 
So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now. I still need to get um, some sort of a entryway, but for now I'm using these two by fours. And this is the mound of dirt that starts from the workshop. Look at all these rocks. Right now it's kind of sketchy because it's like the perfect habitat for snakes. But um, once this cold weather gets here, I'm going to dig in there and grab up a bunch of those rocks and put them to use. So this runs all the way down the hill, way down there to the well. So hopefully that'll settle down a bunch. We're supposed to be getting some rain over the next couple days. And I think the dirt and stuff will settle down a little bit more. But these rocks might end up being there for quite a while. All right, guys, so I just went and picked up my deer. He's ready for some deer meat. <laughs> so, guys, I just picked up my deer from the processor. I uh, got quite a bit of meat few different ways. We got the back straps, we got some sweet meat, we got uh, about 15 pounds of uh, burger with added fat. <laughs> he loved. And um, we also got about five pounds of spicy sausage. Here's some deer burger. And some sausage. Oh yeah. And then we ended up getting um, two roasts as well out of this deer for those big ones right there. So stocking up the freezer, that's what it's all about. It definitely feels good to know you got some meat in the freezer, especially with how times are so crazy. Um, so yeah, gonna be eating good this winter, all into next spring, summer. <laughs> and I can't wait to share some recipes with you guys too. So I decided to go with a Euro style mount for my buck, a little seven pointer here. I keep saying little, but he's a really nice buck. I'm really proud. So I'm gonna take care of this so that I can have the skull to hang on the wall. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys in another video how I do that. I'm gonna be soaking it and removing all of the flesh and the skin and everything so that I can just have the pretty skull to hang on the wall with these beautiful antlers so I'll save that for another video <laughs> so guys just getting over here to the farm I've got Elo and Frankie with me All right, this is gonna be Frankie's first time in the farmhouse I'm gonna give you guys just a quick like farmhouse tour my mom and I have done some cleaning so far um, as far as getting up mice poop um, we had a guy come and clean out the attic um, I know that he watches my channel, so shout out to you, Billy. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping us clean out the attic. It had a bunch of guamo, which is bat poop up there. So, But we still have so much cleaning to do, but trust me, it's, it's looking a lot better than it did. So I want to give you guys a quick little farmhouse tour. This old farmhouse was built in 1902, so it has been around for a long time. And I'd say about 10 years ago, maybe 12, I'm not really sure, a long time ago, my mom repainted all of the walls and decorated and everything. And it's really cute. It just needs some sprucing up again. Elo, come here. Come on. Come on in, bud. Good boy. Get your bone. All right. Off of the kitchen, we have this cute little sitting area. Elo's not allowed to get on this white sofa. <laughs> I just got this freezer put in here as you guys saw I loaded that up with my deer meat still got the deer head in there but there's some old pictures of the farmhouse and the shed um, this up there is kind of sketchy I don't really like to go up there because it's kind of haunted but I guess I can show you guys uh, we'll save that for last since it's like the ugliest and then in here, we also have another sitting room um, and a wood stove in here as well to keep it nice and toasty. There's my old stereo system. Really neat. It's got an old piano in here, 
Um, that used to be a fireplace. Love these old wood stoves. My mom got these from different places and yeah, she's really good at decorating with antique type stuff. That's definitely her style. So as we come through this hallway, you will see this beautiful drawing my dad drew when he was little. Um, some geese there and some sort of old uh, saw equipment thing to add to the farmhouse feel. Those up there go to the upstairs bedrooms. This is something of mine that I'm storing in here right now, but this is what we call the tobacco room. Um, you can see the color of the walls and everything my mom chose. Sitting area and uh, a big wood stove, but actually this is a coal burning stove. So this thing is super old. Um, you're supposed to burn a uh, like not charcoal but actual coal in there and it stays really hot and lasts a long time but you can still use it um, as it is with wood and it to heat so yep the only thing this place has right now is electricity it doesn't have any running water uh, like i said no running water in the kitchen and no bathroom so once we get that added in this will be awesome as you can see, like the stuff on the floor, that's what everything downstairs looked like before. It's like dead ladybugs and mice poop and stuff like that. So this room kind of creeps me out. This is the old original wood, just like everywhere else in this house. But um, this is a bedroom. My mom is actually washing all the bedding. Ugh, freaks me out to think that there could be like snakes and mice in there hibernating in the mattresses. And this room's going to need a lot of work. But again, a cute little wood stove. And as we come over this way, we have another bedroom. This is my favorite little bedroom. It's so bright and cute. Cute little desk in here. And I also like that you can see out the windows. My mom replaced these windows probably 10 to 12 years ago and they are holding up very strong. So this room is super cute. Oh, wood stove. I love these like miniature, smaller sized ones but they work like a charm these were built so good back in the day these old farmhouses i mean this thing is old and the banister does not even move it needs a lot of work but it's definitely worth doing all right i'm gonna take you up these stairs here this is so creepy up here we call this jacob's ladder uh it's definitely unfinished oh my gosh frankie's up here Hopefully he can get some mice and snakes. But yeah, this room is just kind of like a cluster right now. Um, could be really cool up here though. At the moment though, not so much. Frankie, what are you doing? There's some like old creepy writings on the wall. I think like the days of the weeks or something. But um, yeah, the, the people who used to live here, her name was Maggie and she had kids that lived here as well. And they lived with no bathroom, no running water. They had an outhouse, um, a cellar for their perishable foods and stuff like that, and they loved it. They lived perfectly fine off the land. Um, we're gonna add a few, <laughs> a few uh, essential necessities to live, but I think this is a really cool, cool place. It holds a really special place in my heart, and I know my mom as well. So. This is the inside of the farmhouse. I could tell you guys some stories um, from when I was little, like trying to stay over here a couple times and just things that I've heard and seen, um, like some like scary stuff uh, that make me think that this place may be haunted. But I don't think that the ghosts that live here are evil. I think that they're just, uh, they're just here. Like for example, Sometimes when you come in, you might hear music and there's no music playing um, or footsteps upstairs if you're downstairs or um, a baby crying. I can tell you guys more about that story another time. Um, also things like if you set something somewhere and then you leave and you come back and it's completely moved to a different room. Yeah, those type of things. But the whole ghost haunted stuff doesn't really scare me anymore as much as the... Um, snakes and the mice and the particles and stuff from their droppings so that's more what i'm worried about and plus i got frankie now to help keep it under control oh yeah